Alright guys, so I'm making this video because a, a few people still had some issues trying to get the scoreboard thing started. Um, and then some people were saying that it wasn't updated from the previous or the current update that it, it, it broke the system. I want to show you guys that everything's still working and maybe this video can help kind of like go over it again in a, in a different way and maybe it'll help uh, uh, be clearer in some ways than it was in others. So I'm going to open a world, I'm going to put it on peaceful, creative, and uh, I'm going to make it just super flat just because um, it'll be easier to do all this crap on a super flat world. <clears throat> Alright, but so now that we're in here, first thing we're going to do is grab a command block. So slash give at s command underscore block. It should give us a command block. Next thing we want to go ahead and do is grab redstone and a redstone uh, comparator. And then we're going to grab an observer. Boom. I don't have to type the whole thing, but there we go. All right. These are the items that we need. We're going to lay out a command block. I'm going to lay it out sideways just to be a little bit easier to see. But it's going to be one, two, three. Uh, you're going to skip one, two, three. And you're going to lay out one, two, three, just like that. Uh, excuse me, Jeff. Now, you're going to have... You can, you can stack them. You can lay them. You can do whatever you want as long as they're going uh, into each other like this. So it needs to be going into each other. Um, everything like when you lay your lay your observer out, right? You want to make sure that the arrow, damn, you want to make sure that the arrow is flowing into the arrow. If you lay it like this or any other direction, it's not going to activate uh, these command blocks, so it's not going to make the system work. Um, once we did, once we got the command blocks laid out, we can go ahead and do. Um, we're going to do our first scoreboard so you're going to make a total of two scoreboards in this and the first one is going to be your real scoreboard and the second one is going to be like a it's just going to be your display scoreboard that's all it's going to be nothing more nothing less um and in order to do that i'm sorry i had i had a phone call <laughs> in order to do that you're going to write in chat you're going to do a slash scoreboard objectives add and then you're going to name the first scoreboard money dummy money and then you're going to send that into the thing it's going to add one successfully you're going to add the second scoreboard and this is going to be your display scoreboard so scoreboard objectives and then add whatever you're going to name it so like i'm just going to do moolah for mine i'm going to do moolah dummy moolah so that's two school boards active. We can go into starting the first one. So the first one is going to be a um, repeat unconditional. No, I'm sorry, a repeat. Yeah, uh, repeat unconditional, always active. Boom, just like that. Let me open this up so you can see. And then the command is going to be test for... at a so this command block is testing for everybody to send the world at any given time so if i go into it it found king flippy um oh one thing i want to say is so if you have this problem happen so let's say game rule command block block output and then say true so oh no not false true all right so if you have this issue where your command block is just all of a sudden feeding you a bunch of information that you don't need and obviously you don't want it on the screen, you're going to type in game rule command block output and it's going to be false. And that's going to stop that that repetitive uh, display of whatever all the information is telling you because it's basically just saying whatever this is, found king um, at whatever location. Boom. So that fixes that issue. Second command block is going to be a chain, conditional, and then always active. And for this one, we are going to do scoreboard players. Hold on, let me... Why didn't it open? There we go. We're going to do scoreboard players. 
add and then at a and then you're gonna name it your second scoreboard so moolah zero so what this is about to do is add the scoreboard uh, function for the display scoreboard and it's gonna put it to zero boom added zero to moolah for king so now that display is always gonna be active that's what's gonna wipe the system anytime somebody joins for the third one you're gonna want it to be another chain uh, conditional always active and the command for this one is gonna be execute at everyone positioned oh, I'm sorry uh, at all right so make sure this is another thing I saw people were having a mistake with. when you do this execute command it's got to say execute at at a I know it's weird I know I don't understand why it does that but don't try to use just the at a position you have to have execute at at a positioned and then tilde 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 but your tildes need to be spaced out they can't be like right next to each other so it needs to be oh where's my tilde sign okay right here tilde 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 so there's a space in between them and then you're gonna do run scoreboard players operation at p and then at p you're gonna put in moolah or this the second key uh second scoreboard equals at p first scoreboard now the importance of this command is it's going to execute at every player positioned wherever the player is in the world at all times it is going to equal your display key your display scoreboard to your primary scoreboard so no matter what happens your display will always show what your actual scoreboard is if you try to add money to the display, it's not going to work. It's going to set it back to zero or it's going to it's going to wipe every time somebody joins because that is just a fake scoreboard. It is a display. It's not the one that you actually want to add money to at all. And that's it for that one. I should have changed time of day. Hold on. Let's uh, general. No. Blah, 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 game. Let's do. Um, always day. There we go. Boom. All right, so now that we got that, one, two, three, we go over to the next one. This one is going to be impulse unconditional needs redstone. And the command for this one is going to be scoreboard objectives. Uh, objectives. Remove. Sorry, I'm typing it as I'm doing it. Remove and then moolah. So this is going to remove your second scoreboard. So anytime somebody joins the game or leaves the game, it's going to reset the second scoreboard and then it's going to go through the first command or the third command block that we did and it's going to re-equal your scoreboard back to whatever your main scoreboard is. It's a lot of scoreboarding. I know it, it can get confusing. The second one has to be a chain conditional always active because anytime you're running a command block to another command block it's a chain uh, conditional always active now for this one we're gonna type we're gonna re-add the scoreboard so it's gonna be scoreboard nope not that what I just do scoreboard objectives and then add the second scoreboard so moolah and then dummy and then moolah so this score or this command block is once we remove the scoreboard then we have to re-add the scoreboard and that's what this command block is for it's just re-adding the scoreboard we removed and then we're going to do another chain conditional always active and this one is going to be how we post the sidebar so scoreboard objectives set display and then sidebar and we want to name it whatever we're going to name it so let's just say moolah boom all right so now that we have all this active we're going to put down our first comparator make sure that the comparator is facing outwards you want to have 
the two redstone torches into the first or into the back of the first command block. Then it needs to be blank, redstone dust, and then your observer is going to face into this as well. So the arrow is going to be flowing into this block, into this block, blah, blah, blah. Just like that. Now that we got that, we're going to check all the scoreboards. We found king. We added money. Boom. Failed to execute scoreboard as null. So there was a lot of comments that said, okay, it's not working. Nothing's popping up. This is what's happening. Now, in order to fix this problem, it's real easy to do. You have to get somebody on the scoreboard. That's it. You have to get one person on the scoreboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to do slash scoreboard objectives. No, I'm sorry. We're going to do scoreboard players and then add. And let's just do at a because I'm the only one in here. And then don't add it to the display scoreboard, add it to the real scoreboard. So we're going to do money because money is the real scoreboard that we're mimicking. And then type in, uh, let's say, can we do zero? Will zero work? Oh, I messed up. Hold on. We'll, re we'll type it in again. So it's slash scoreboard players add money. Nope. Add at a money and uh let's just do as a matter of fact if you're adding it for yourself anyways you can do 100 you can do whatever boom all right so now that we added money to the scoreboard see set moolah for king to 100 now go back break the redstone reapply the redstone and boom your scoreboard is up just like that so anytime you see the null right here, just go into your command prop, add money or add the amount that you want to add to your money scoreboard, to the original scoreboard, not to the display scoreboard. So like my original, my first scoreboard I made was money. And then the second one is called moolah. This command block right here. No, this one right here is mimicking. No, it's this one is uh, is mimicking whatever the original scoreboard says. So that's why it says at P moolah equals at P money because it's displaying what the first school board says. And then from there, if you and if you didn't want to add somebody like you have to add one person to the school board. So if you wanted to uh, take the money away, you just do school board players uh, remove and then do. I can't spell remove remove at let's just say at all and then let's do um money 100 so once you do that boom now i'm back to zero so no matter what happens you can you can set the money however you want but that's how you make the scoreboard work and then if y'all need the evidence i'm not even going to cut it i'll just do it right here uh that's clash of clans i did not mean to open that so i'm going to join i logged into my wife's account on my phone so I'm going to join the game from her account and you guys can see that it uh, that she's able to actually get her money, keep her money and join the game. All right, so she's about to load in. You'll see that the scoreboard goes to or adds her to it. Just like that. So now she's on the scoreboard. And what I'm going to do to prove to you guys that it's working is scoreboard players add, um, let's say, I'll just type in her name. And then money. And let's add, I don't know, $250. So now she has $250. She takes first place on the, on the money board. And then if she leaves the game, it's going to wipe her money or it's going to wipe her display or wipe her name off the display just like that so it's back to me and then if she rejoins the game at any time pop 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 I'm waiting for it to load back in boom she still has her money 
All right, so now that you know all that's working, the last thing that I thought about telling you is go ahead and make a ticking area for your area or for your command blocks. So in order to do that, you're going to do slash ticking area, add circle, tilde, 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 four, and then you can name it whatever you want. So we'll just name this uh, commands. Boom. All right, so a ticking area centered at here with a radius of four junks, or four chunks, not four junks, with the, uh, for these command blocks. And that's it, guys. That's literally all you got to do. It's, it's six command blocks, uh, comparator, redstone, and an observer, and that's how you get a scoreboard. Again, you can stack your scoreboard, so if the, if the observer is going into the command block, you can stack it upwards, you can stack it sideways. It just kind of has to be like the I mean it's got to be like this in order to flow to the next school board so I hope this helped you guys I hope uh, maybe whatever wasn't clear in the last video it was a little bit more clear in this video and I got a lot of love and uh, support from the comments and stuff and I was really excited to see that so if you guys want more tutorials um, let me know in the comments below because I can do shops, we can set up a uh, kill feed, we, we can do whatever you guys want um, as far as command block tutorials go. So just let me know and uh, I'll post updated command block tutorials for you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go and hope this helped.